this is giving me euro rail vibes except that i'm eating vada pav and this is actually not switzerland it's maharashtra Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta, and in this video, I'm actually taking you with me to Lonavla. It's going to be a very different Lonavla journey because, for starters, I'm going by train, and it's not just a regular train; it's a Vista Dome Express. So, come on, let me take you with me on this journey. So, this here is the Vista Dome coach. I can see like literally glasses everywhere. I'm just super, super excited. If you guys can't already tell, because I've never done a journey like that. So this is actually like the viewing part, and once the train starts moving, all of the scenery is right here. But for now, let me show you how the train looks like from inside. We like a dedicated area to put luggage, and here we have the wash basin, and that is the loo area. So found my seat, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with what I see so far. Every seat has this footrest area, a reclining button. It's nicely cushioned. So here there is actually a lever which you can press and turn the entire seat. Enjoy the vista view. <laughs> and we are off. Thankfully, it's raining today, and I hope it's raining in Lonavla also because then we'll be able to enjoy all of that. greenery and soak in the fresh air train has started and um, i have just moved my seat around there's still no like worthwhile view but just the freedom of being able to do this is something else one thing that i discovered they have is this airplane style pull out table i'm waiting for train food i don't know i've been dreaming about cutlets since a while I just hope they come soon. We've crossed a lot of the main stations. The next one is Kalyan, but at least the view part has started a little bit. And उसके पहले तो we were just seeing buildings and stuff, but here I can see a mountain in the distance over there, covered with clouds. It's time for train का cutlet. I think the joys of eating cutlet bread in a train are so underrated. I also enjoy the omelette. in a train it's one of the few times that i enjoy eating egg outside omelet is very very simple it's got dhania coriander mirchi and onion this in between buttered slices of bread and a dip of ketchup that viewing deck there gets really crowded but i totally recommend coming by the door and enjoying a bit of the mountains and a bit of the clouds standing on a train ka door hits different let me know if you agree in the comments overall the vista dome coach is definitely a win especially in this weather because the amount of greenery around is just stunning and uh, it is like an experience so if you want to do a slightly different kind of trip to lonavla or pune then i recommend this a lot of people told me that the views get better after lonavla but um, i think i'm pretty satisfied with what i've seen so far but in case you guys want to see a full vista dome experience to pune then leave that in the comments below enjoying chai with this greenery it's just such a soothing experience next halting station lonavala Just stopped at Karjat Station, and you guys know what Karjat is famous for: batata vada. It's mirchi also, but I don't think I'm having that. The only way to describe this experience is batata vada with a view. I mean, I'm just in awe of how beautiful this route can get during this time of the year. The batata vada is actually nice and fresh. There's no chutney or anything, but 
flavor is good according to me the views get better once you've crossed karjat and uh, then a lot of tunnels are passing so basically there comes a point where like every 2 minutes there's a tunnel the view right after the tunnel is stunning you can see streams of water you can see so much lush greenery mountains and if you're here in the rainy season lots of clouds it'll almost feel like you're amidst the clouds and just enjoy this view from different parts of the train right next to your seat go to the back where the actual viewing deck is and uh, even check your neighbor's seat because that side might be getting a slightly better view so that was my vista dome experience from mumbai to lonavala this train goes ahead till pune i've just like gotten off the train and uh, let's see where we go so bye bye vista dome We're here at Buwaji Misar. I'm coming here after so many years, and I think the last time I came here was probably 10, 12 years ago. And this place was tiny at the time, but right now I feel like it's expanded so much. This place always brings back memories for me. And if you have memories from Buwaji Misar, then make sure you hit that subscribe button because that means you and me, we're a vibe baby. Come. So this is where all of the magic happens: the Misar assembly and the. What is being fried and stuff? This is the kitchen. I'm going to be heading inside now. Ah, uh, my banana, kothambi, ani, thecha, kiriwe mirchi ta thecha, so adra kiriwe mirchi ta mix kar ke haldi marun, karka marai ta, dhine ta kaise mast hota. So right now she's making the banana vada ka masala. and uh, she's been explaining to me in marathi very very sweetly what all goes inside batata adrak lasan mirchi kothmir uh, kadi patta and uh, mix 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 then uh, goli bana ke yeah, usko bana fry karne ka and batata vada is ready to eat jain misal jain misal to isme khali matki aur masala Behind me, you can see kanda bhaji being fried. Just look at the size of the bhajia. It is massive and it is looking super, super crispy. And there is like so much around here. See that? Let me show you the misar plates that are ready over there. This is the misar assembly area, and you can see the big burtans in which the misar is there. थोडस वेसे घेतलेला आहे शिंबी डी एमिटी हा ही पूर्ण वरती तरी येते त्याला हे अशी पूर्ण लाल घेतली का ही तरी ही तरी थोडस हलवलं तर मीडियम आणि पूर्ण हलवलं एकदम साधं साधं अच्छा ये साधा बिलकुल तिखा नाही हा लाल वाला एकदम तिखा एकदम तिखा हे देखो हे देखो लाल वाला हे बघा दिस इज द स्पाइसी पार्ट ओके द लाइट कलर फ्लोटिंग ऑन टॉप इज द नॉन स्पाइसी पार्ट तीन प्रकार एक मटकी में तीन प्रकार हां साधा मीडियम तिखा different types of misar available here cheese butter paneer regular i think i'm going to stick to the regular one because that's like the tastiest in my opinion so while we were inside it was crazy hot and all of that heat is for indulging in this plate of misar i have been coming here right since when i was in college and uh, this is the first time i actually like gone inside the kitchen and uh, done all of this video and all but it was a different level of experience for me misar generally is on the spicier side so i'm not going to comment on the spice at all but i'm very partial to this misar like i have a lot of memories and nostalgia attached to it and i think a lot of us mumbai girls will have that so in case you also have memories of this place then let me know a little bit about that in the comments below needs a tiny bit of lime There's also a little bit of thetsa here. I'm going to try having just a little bit with the pav because I really like the flavor of this. It's too fiery for me but What I like about the taste of the misar here is that the spice level is very manageable. Another thing that helps tone down the spice level is the addition of potato inside. Uh, there is a lot of mashed potato, and uh, even the save is very generously added. So I feel like that kind of soaks up all of that uh, hot flavor. After Buwaji Misar, we took a rickshaw and we landed here at Lonavala Lake. And uh, right now, the 
view behind me the green mountains like it's just looking so picturesque and the opposite side is actually even more prettier because that is where the actual lake is i think it's a lake somewhere i read that this is a dam but to me it's seeming more like a lake so just look how serene that is so here there seem to be a few activities you can enjoy butta probably even a horse ride or you can just sit and enjoy the fresh breeze i mean like there are cars passing and autos and all going and stuff but still there's a certain level of calmness here i haven't felt this fresh breeze in a really long time any trip to lonavla in this season is incomplete without seeing a waterfall so i'm glad we check box that here that stream of water and that and this fresh air and greenery i think i'm a different person today <laughs> We are at such a beautiful point with such cool breeze and so much greenery to look for. It's but natural that I eat a plate of corn bhajiya. So what I'm doing is taking a dip of the ketchup and of this garlic chutney, making my own little spicy dip. Not spicy, chat pata dip. I feel like these can be a little bit more crunchier than kanda bhaji itself, simply because corn itself has a very chewy a very juicy texture and that when fried with besan it's a different level of crunchiness i was feeling bad that i didn't try uh, kanda bhaji in buaji misar but at that time i was so full now after walking around a little bit this bhajia is feeling really good that plate of bhajia i just bought from the shop here of the lake view point and the price of it was 80 rupees i feel it's a little bit steep considering the misar that i had was 70 bucks but um, It was quite a big plate of bhajias so I think it's okay. One auto ride later we are here at Mapro Garden in Lonavla. This place has become a must visit for me whenever I am in Lonavla simply because it reminds me of Mapro Garden in Mahableshwar. Let's go check out the store, chill for a bit and enjoy something yummy. I want to try something new so I'm going to go around to their sampling counters. classic butter cookies i've never seen butter cookies at mapro and somehow i feel like every time i come here they have like new stuff i tried mojito next i'm trying the green apple one wow i better move from here otherwise i'm going to be stuck at the tasting counter so i'm going to buy a few things and see you guys in a bit this pond area actually specifically reminds me of the mahableshwar wala mapro even they have like this chotu area and there behind is the fountain i think this waterfall sort of a thing is very very symbolic of lonavla especially in this weather any visit to mapro garden is incomplete for a foodie like me without visiting their food area and they have a lot of different things to eat there's pizza there's grill sandwich In the winter they have fresh cream with strawberry and in the summer they have fresh mango version of that same thing. I don't know what we are going to find now but I'm keen to go and check it out. All right you guys there can't be a trip here without strawberry and fresh cream so This that I'm very very excited to go to whenever I'm in Lonavla is Cooper's Fudge. Now this is like the best fudge of Lonavla and uh, there's no doubt about it. Anybody else will tell you like there are ones that are way older, way better and all but no. Take my word for it Coopers is the best and they recently like started this whole new big outlet and stuff and it is so fancy especially for older customers like me who've seen their tinier shop in the market area this feels like a different world so let's head inside and get some fudge So for me there's never any confusion when it comes to Coopers it's always chocolate walnut fudge So here I've got my boxes and another box for some of my friends. 
कम लेट्स गो तो दिस इज लाइक द न्यू शॉप एंड आई कैन सी अपस्टेज दे आर प्रेपिंग टू स्टार्ट अ कैफे और अ रेस्टोरेंट आई थिंक इट्स गोना टेक लाइक फाइव टू सिक्स मंथ्स मोर बट इल बी इंटरेस्टिंग वन दैट है If there's something that you cannot leave Lonavla without, it's chikki. We all love chikki in some form or the other. And while there's this like one brand which is famous all through Lonavla, Maganlal, I actually prefer this really small humble shop which has been around since 1975, very close to the Lonavla market. It's called Rupam Chikki. Let me take you inside. It's a small shop. I have some set favorites from here. I really enjoy the Malai Crush Peanut Chikki from here. I love their potato wafers. They are super, super thin, like wafer thin. They also let you taste a few chikki flavors, uh, depending on whatever is available with them. But uh, the stuff here is fresh, and I vouch for it. This is my ride here in Lonavla. I have been roaming around in an auto, very free, not driving for a change, enjoying it. And I was fascinated with this auto because it's the first time I'm seeing an auto with a door. How cool is that? All right the door is shut and I'm headed to my next stop so see you there Back to my original ride I'm actually also going back to Mumbai in the Vista Dome I thought let's just make this like a complete experience left at about 4:30 from Lonavla station and uh, I just hope it doesn't become too hot it doesn't seem like it's looking nice and green again That was my Vista Dome experience. The views that I had in the morning and right now even while coming back was so beautiful, but right now we can just see buildings which just shows you I am back in Mumbai and I'm going to be getting off at Dadar anytime soon now. So I just thought I'll give you guys a gist of my entire trip. So firstly, this is the Deccan Express. That's the one that I took. The last 3 digits of the train are 007 and the Lonavla to Mumbai is 008. When you want to book a Vista Dome, you have to select EC as your uh, seating option that is i think executive chair car or something like that so that is the vista dome coach and it's usually either in the beginning of the train or in the like way end of the train so find all of that out and select it and i booked my tickets and stuff from the irctc website all of the other details which i think i'm missing right now and might help you out i'll leave those in the description box below and i'll also leave the details of all the places that i visited in lonavla um in the description box below so even you can plan a nice fun day out there that is really it for me don't forget to hit the like button share this video with all of your friends and family and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye